Alright, so last episode, I definitely goofed a little bit and killed my fairy type right before we're about to do what I assume is the dark gym. So that kind of sucks, but uh, how you doing, Happy? Always holding something, and we got a potion, so thank you. You know what, while we're here, actually, I believe last episode we did find the lost Pokeball that uh, you were looking for, right? What's that? That my Pokeball? Sure is. And we give the girl the Pokeball. Thank you so much. I have a gift for you. I don't need it anymore. And we get an item finder. Nice. Well, that's pretty cool. I always end up forgetting to use the freaking item finder, but we got that, so that's not too bad. And she's like, well, I'm out of here. People just did my work for me, so cool. Um, we are going to continue back to the forest. Before we actually do so, um, one thing I did want to do is we have this TM-102 for Fever. We got this from the first gym leader, and this actually would be a great move to teach to Charlotte here. It's a poison move that has a chance to burn the target, which is kind of nice. So it's got 60 base power, and that's much better than Poison Sting, so we're going to go ahead and get rid of that. And we should be much better now. We should also probably stick Charlotte in front. Happy and Twitter are both level 18, looking pretty nice. I don't imagine the gym leader having much higher than 18, maybe around 20, but we'll leave the EXP share on Roundhouse, and let's head back to it. I did off-screen actually buy a couple repels. I figure it's going to help us out in terms of uh, not wanting to run into like a thousand Pokemon in this forest, so let's go ahead and spray one of them repels. Actually, it could be probably pretty damn helpful. So I got five repels, that's kind of all I could afford, but we'll use one of those bad boys. And now we don't have to worry about running into freaking spiders and shit. It seems extra dark in here this time. Why is it so damn dark? Spookiest place ever. Okay, so we have battled this trainer. Um, I'm not sure exactly how far we got, but we can go either... Man, that repel did not last long. So it asks if you want to use another one, but then you just got to go into the freaking bag. But okay, so let's continue down, where I don't think I've battled you. What? Who's there? Oh, a trainer? Let's battle. Let's get it, buddy. So our bug catcher Travis friend here has a Darkula. One of these things again, I haven't seen you in a while. It's kind of just a cooler version of Charlotte. Looks like something that Team Skull would use. So we're going to test out our new fever here. Um, actually doesn't do much damage at all. And wow, that pursuit actually hurts, so I can't, I'm afraid to switch out. Um, we luckily can take exactly one more <laughs> pursuit. Although if it's a crit, it's gonna suck. Yeah, okay, we do get the burns. So that's gonna half its attack. That was actually that was pretty damn scary. Well, just fury cutters. So we can take fury cutters. Gets hurt by some burn, and Charlotte is the superior spider because fever is pretty damn cool. I actually I think it's a really interesting idea for a Pokemon move. But we got a level 15 there. Oh no, says Travis. All right, we should probably. Go for a little, uh, little healing up here. We have a lemonade for you, buddy. Enjoy this nice sugary drink to replenish your HP. Okay. So, um, looks like, looks like we're just going in a damn circle because now we're gonna go up. Okay, there's a Pokeball here. We find a super potion. Nice. That is some useful stuff. We do need all the training we can get, so we might as well battle you. A battle? Let's go. Why are you just standing out in the forest in the damn rain, lady? Francis here has a lop hug. What the fuck is that thing? It looks like a demented Wigglytuff that mated with a Diggersby. That, that is. This was actually um, one of the the quests in the. So it's fairy type. Looks like a fairy type. I think there was a quest for this thing. If we brought this back to somebody in the Poke Center, they would give us a prize. But unfortunately, obviously since it's a Nuzlocke, we did not get that as our encounter here. So. We're going to have to go without it, but that thing is crazy as hell looking. Double slaps the absolute shit out of me five times. Ouch. Get hurt by that burn. And one more fever should do it. So the gym leader is around here somewhere just hanging out. I don't remember looking for, what, the thieves or whatever. But uh, holy shit, we get a lot of experience from that. Roundhouse actually grows to level 16. So you know what, maybe we should even take the EXP share off you because this thing has been growing quick as hell. Uh, we are going to leave Charlotte in front for now, I think, is probably a good idea. But you do need a little healing. So we have 11 super potions. Might as well just use lemonades for now. Regular potions would be just fine, but uh, it's all right. Okay, so this looks like it uh, doesn't take us anywhere new. I can cut this down. Um, let's see, I, I'm pretty sure. Wait, we did battle you. Did I already actually? I think this, I did actually already cut this down. I'm pretty sure. There was an item over here, but we're just going to continue where um, 
I guess we gotta go back down. I'm gonna use another repel. While I got him, we might as well use these bad boys. Only have three of them left. But uh, it's gonna make things go a lot smoother because you do run into it. It seems like a lot of wild Pokemon in this game. Don't want to repel too much because we want to kind of see what is lurking in the old grass. But I believe now we just gotta head left. Have I battled you? You didn't fear. Excellent. Okay, yeah, we have gotten this far. Oh man, that repel didn't last. <laughs> Regular repels just don't go as far as you expect them to. Jesus. We got a Pokeball here. It's a big mushroom. We're going to trip our balls off later. And uh, we've got to be getting toward the end of this. The music in here is spooky as hell. We find another Super Potion. It's kind of scary when they load you up with Super Potions. It's like, hey, buddy, you're going to need these. And hello there. Looks like we found it. Of course, there's a spooky building in here as we also find some black glasses, uh, which is kind of a cool hold item that increases the power of dark type moves. But let's see what's going on here. Every time I look at this house, I wonder who built this and for what purpose. Me too, buddy. Me too. Who are you, huh? Unless you're trying to help, stay out of my way. I'm just trying to get my gym badge. So you're hating a trainer who wants to battle the gym, huh? And you heard about the thieves. I sure did. I listened to the whole police story. Well, if you want me to return to my gym, you're going to need to have to help me. You're going to need you to help me. Come on, let's check out this place. I have a bad feeling about it. All right, well... Since we're white people, we're going to go into the spooky looking place rather than just leaving and minding our own business. What a thief you are, stealing a Pokeball with po without a Pokemon in it. I just thought she had another Pokemon instead of the Lopug on her side. Never mind, let's get some other Pokemon in our on our next run. I've heard about an organization buying Pokemon for a lot of money. Cool. I'm interested. I got Pokemon to sell. Sell my dead ones too. Who are these two losers? Did anyone invite you in? Is that any way to treat your guests? So, analyzing our conversation, you guys are thieves. That makes my job easier. Well, yep, <laughs> I would assume so. Good luck trying to catch us. You'll have to beat us first. Talk about bad hospitality. Come on, Hayden, let's take these two nobodies out. All right, so look like we're getting a little double battle in with our... No, never mind. I thought maybe we are going to battle alongside him, but we're just going to take this guy. He has a, a Vambat, and that thing's got to be flying type, right? Um, let's go into Happy here. So it's probably just a dark flying type. It's, it doesn't really look like a Pokemon. It reminds me of just like a, a random Halloween decoration. But I like it. It's actually kind of cool. We're going to give you an Aurora Beam. See how you like that. Bite kind of hurts a little bit. But we're going to go ahead and pee on you. And that knocks you out in one hit. Because Happy is freaking OP. Happy feet don't play no games. Alright, next is another Darkula. Um, we'll probably just stay in here. Seems like the best bet. I mean, I guess we could have... Could have gone into freaking anybody else, like, for some reason. Yep, Dark Light. I, I'm just going to switch. Heck it, we're going into Twitter. We don't want to lose to these damn thieves. But it is actually a pretty cool Pokemon that they use for the, uh... The bad guys got some, some spooky looking stuff. It's better than seeing the same, like, Rattatas and shit over and over. Alright, so we knocked that thing out easily. Oof, he said oof. This guy's been on the internet before. Oh, wait, what the fuck? These cops just popped out of nowhere? Thanks, you two. We couldn't have caught them without your help. Always on the side of justice, guys. I bet there's going to be a crazy plot twist like this guy was working with the thieves. Anyway, now that we've taught a lesson to these burglars, I can go back to the gym. If you want to battle, I'll be waiting. But don't take too long. I'm pretty impatient. All right. So, that was easier than I expected, I guess. There's got to be something in this trash can. Nope, just empty. So, uh, what is this? Is this a Pokeball? Found TM41 for Torment. Not the most useful move ever, but uh, we like free stuff, so. Our pal's gonna freaking wear off. Um, now we gotta, I guess, just run our own asses back. And uh, I'm excited to see what this gym is gonna be like. It actually doesn't seem like it's too difficult to get back to where we need to be. I also don't know kind of what levels we're working with. I really don't want to kill stuff. I, I need to make sure that <laughs> I play it a little bit safe. Charlotte definitely needs some levels. I might even might have to grind up just a little bit. Because uh, the last time we had a gym, I mean, I, I did fine in the gym battle. But right before it, that rival battle really hacked me. And we never know when freaking Rodney's going to come and just ruin my day with his Herovore. Always find a Pokemon on the last step of grass. Every damn time. Darkula, get out of here. I'm probably actually just going to kill you because I know that you're not going to let me run. And why does Fever not do very much? We're four levels higher than this thing. Should be doing more. Maybe we'll, uh... Yeah, never mind. We'll just finish you off with a little more Fever. Should do the job. 
down goes your Darkula. That's a it's an interesting name. It's like Dracula, just a little bit misspelled. Okay, so you're actually able to get out of here pretty quickly. And uh, time to get down to business. I'm going to heal up, and I guess we'll kind of take on the kind of initial people in the gym and then see. We'll just kind of gauge ourselves. I really wish I still had my fairy type, man. I'm an, <laughs> I'm an idiot for letting that die last episode. Didn't even get a new encounter in that forest, but it's okay. So, I'm really wondering if I should just grind up Charlotte before. Roundhouse is probably could use some work too. I think 18 is probably a solid stopping point though. But anyway, uh, the gym is over this way. No longer guarded, and we can enter. What's up, buddy? Hello there, you found Damon in Backleaf Woods. Yeah, he's smoking a backwood in Backleaf Woods. Well then, the leader of this gym specializes in dark type Pokemon. Yeah, we get a fresh water. So, it is the dark gym, pretty obviously. And, um, what's up with the shadows there? Ooh, okay, so, it's nice and dark and spooky in here. Like, what's up with this? Why is there, the doors are right there. Do I just go through random doors? What's going on here? <laughs> I have no idea where I'm going. But I found the gym leader, so... <laughs> is there no trainers in here before? Like, what, hello? You can just go right to the gym leader, huh? Well, that is interesting. I should definitely... Should definitely grind up before... Oh, no, we do have a trainer here. Okay, wrong room. Now you have to battle me. So I guess if you go the wrong way... Oh, this is crazy. I ended up at the right... Right room the first try. Anyway, pump girl Helena... Hell, 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 I don't know. She's got a Bayo pup. And, uh, we do at least have a bug type still. Would have preferred to have my fairy, but we can still bug bite the hell out of you. And this actually reminds me. Why well, haven't I haven't been using bug bite at all? But also, we do have, um, the silver powder, I believe it is, that raises the power of bug moves. So, we should give that to our buddy Spider Friend here. There you go, Charlotte. Holding that silver power, we're gonna boost up our bug bite a little bit, and uh, exciting stuff. I hope, I'm sure bug will do good for us here. Venap attack, guy's got a venap, huh? Punk guy, Corey's got two Pokemon. He does have that their venap, uh, which is fine. I guess bug's probably gonna be our best bet against this thing. Fever or fever, or whatever, kind of doesn't get boosted by this silver powder. So bug bite's looking solid. Trying to learn Venom Drench. Nice. I think that turns the opposing Pokemon into a poison type or whatever. Opposing Pokemon are drenched in an odd poisonous liquid. Lower, no, it lowers the uh, attack, special attack, and speed stats. So, um, that's actually, you know, wait, no, we're, we should probably teach that. That's actually kind of cool. I forgot about Venom Drench, to be honest. Let's get rid of, uh, let's get rid of Spiderweb. Ain't nobody got time for Spiderweb. And yo, Charlotte is getting OP now. Next is another Bayo Pup. We can just go ahead and bug bite you. This thing is literally a furry. This is like... <laughs> just a guy dressed up in a fursuit. Alright. So, Charlotte, do we think do we think we're good enough to take on the gym? I honestly don't really feel like <laughs> I should try that initially, but... So yeah, we're gonna run back out of here. I'm gonna go ahead and heal up, and I'm gonna probably grind up... Uh, just maybe like one or two levels. Just to make sure that we're gonna be... I had a good enough spot for this gym leader because I like how my team is right now and I don't want to kill anybody. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do some off-screen off grinding and I will be back and ready to battle the gym. Okay, so I'm done. Okay, so I think we're at a pretty good spot here. I trained up Charlotte up to level 18, which I think is a good enough stopping point. Also, I decided to grind up Roundhouse a little bit. I got him up to 17. Um, this thing would help us out a lot, considering it's a freaking fighting type. We're about to take on the Dark Gym. The only bad news is that we actually don't have a fighting move. But the good news is, Google exists. And I found out that at level 18, we actually learn um, Revenge. So I'm just going to use this rare candy that we found at some point in the previous episodes. And we're going to give that to our buddy Roundhouse here. Bump you up to level 18, and we're going to learn Revenge. So I was too lazy just to grind this thing up there. And now we're looking solid, so let's just get rid of Rain Dance. And now we can absolutely roundhouse kick some people right in the face. And that should be nice. Let's give it the old Chuck Norris. 
Used our last rare candy, that is fine. And we are ready to go take on the gym leader. I'm pretty excited about this. We should be okay, uh, as long as this guy doesn't come at me with like level 25s. But I think we should be pretty, pretty well leveled for this. So I do actually know where to go to get to the gym leader straight away. If we just go all the way to the right. And then up to the left, I think this leads to where we need to go. Pass some bookcases. I'm excited to get out of this spooky ass place. And here we ha here we have it. Oh, look at the shadows. The shadows actually work really well in this. They're coming right from the light sources and everything. That's awesome. Well, hello, my friend. Let's do it, buddy. You made it here? Good. You were a great help to solving the climb. The crime. The climb. Crime Blackleaf Woods. Yep, okay. As you know, I'm Damon, the gym leader of this amazing city, and I specialize in dark type Pokemon. Many people fear dark types. That is because they do not understand them. They can be magnificent. I shall show you how great they are in a gym battle. Get ready. All right. So, we do have to choose what we want to bring. I assume it's just going to be three. We'll enter you. We'll enter you. And happy. So, yeah. You can only use three Pokemon because I believe he just has three Pokemon. That's actually, it's, it's pretty cool that they do that. But anyway, we're about to get our second gym badge. I'm fired up. Here we go, Damon. About to catch these hands, buddy. He leads off with a Venap. And that is fine. Um, the only bad news about Venap, though, is I would love to switch out. But these things have freaking Arena Trap. And it uh, looks like we're stuck in here. I don't. I think this thing is just Grass-type. And this is actually terrible. I should not have let off with Roundhouse. I guess we'll just give you a Revenge. Seems like the best option here. It goes for a Bite. Not going to hurt us too much because we resist that. And, uh, oh, Revenge is actually super effective. What? This thing is Dark and Grass-type, apparently. And uh, that means it's going to go down. So, perfect. Obviously, it's going to be dark type if he used it, but I just figured that thing was grass for some reason. I don't know. I, that was a dumb thought. Anyway, next up, he has a Vambat, and that is why we have Happy. Uh, Vambat is a good counter to a fighting type, but unluckily for you, buddy, we got ourselves a freaking Icy Bird. Uh, we'll just go for a Roar Beam here. It's level 17. We should be okay. I'm just trying to think about what this thing might have. So it just goes for a Bite. We don't get flinched, which is great. And we just pee on you with a roar beam, and that knocks you right out. So we've got two one-hit kills, and things are going great here. We've got one Pokemon left. It's probably going to be his ace. That's going to be something we may not have seen before, I'd assume. Happy's trying to learn Water Pulse, so that's cool. Um, I think Bubble Beam's actually... Okay, Bubble Beam's 65. Water Pulse is only 60. So who would have thought that Bubble Beam's better than Water Pulse? I'm probably just going to get rid of Ice Ball because it kind of locks you in. Now we have two options for water moves, I suppose. And last but not least is a Werehide. And uh, some type of werewolf. Let's let's use Charlotte. This is your time to shine, Charlotte. What the hell is... This is probably the evolution of... Uh, oh my god, it's got to be. Look at how extravagant that damn thing is. I want to pet it. Although, this thing looks like a damn furry. Okay, so... You got to just be... Just be dark type, so I mean, we'll just give you a bug bite and see what you want to go for. It's going to go for a dark matter, and that is scary. Luckily, though, we can take another hit from that. Um, as long as you don't crit me, we should be we should be okay. It, we can literally take one more. It's going to just quick attack this time. Whew, we live in with 4 HP, we break through, and the bug bite is going to knock you out. So, sweet Jesus, that actually was kind of bad. Level 19, that thing is a threat. But we get a shit ton of experience for that. And Damon has been defeated. So that was, that was super quick. You have won this gym battle. Congratulations. As a reward, you have earned this darkness badge. So cool. We got ourselves our second gym badge, ladies and gentlemen. It looks like Lunala wings or something. That's pretty cool. You also receive this gift. We get 104 for dark matter. So that's kind of cool. Special dark type attack that will cause damage and may confuse your foe. I wish you many victories along your journey, Aiden. Thank you, buddy. So, that was uh, much easier than expected, but we were pretty well prepared, so. Now I wonder, so I guess now this opens up the area to where we can head up to the north, um, so that should be kind of cool. And uh, hopefully we were able to catch a cool new Pokemon over there, because we still got ourselves a slot. And before we continue, we're just going to get a nice little heal up going. Uh, we should probably also stick somebody else in front, just to spread the love around a little bit. We healed up. We actually, I mean, we got multiple spots. But yeah, so who should we stick in front? We should, I'm going to go with, uh, I'm going to go with Twitter. I feel like Twitter got used a whole lot 
in that last gym and it's just been kind of chilling in the back so we're gonna have you flying around with us buddy so this is the area where we can head up and of course there's some oh f jesus it's freaking it's rodney oh no i was uh please don't battle me i was not ready for this this guy's fucking herovore destroys us oh hayden you won your second badge already wow i should probably catch up yeah you should buddy this is the way to Thunder Realm Pass. It's known for having lots of thunderstorms and rain there. It has something to do with this, uh, some temple or something. Want to see how tough you've gotten? Oh, Jesus, we got to battle him. You're a trainer? You have to. Or have you forgotten? Well, Jesus, we got a gym battle and then Rodney comes in trying to ruin our day. Why do you always got to battle me before or after gym battles? So, oh, shit. He has three Pokemon. Rodney here leads off with a Bud Chirp. So, okay. We got a Bud Chirp as well. Um... I am just going to go ahead and switch into Happy, probably. We could probably just knock this thing out with an Aurora Beam. Although, I think it's going to be faster, even though it's level 15. Well, who knows? Who knows? Just going to go for a Wing Attack. That's fine. Doesn't do too much to us. And, uh, how about you catch this Aurora Beam? So, two Wing Attacks. Don't crit me, please. Thank you. And that just knocks it out. So, one down. Dude, I bet he actually has evolved his Hero Vore at this point, because... They're past that level point. Oh, Jesus. Twitter grows to level 19 there. Looking nice. Trying to learn work up. Um, so. Work up. Rouse its special its attack and special attack stats increase. That's actually kind of nice. Let's get rid of Peck. We already have a better flying move with wing attack, so that's kind of cool. Anyway, here we have a forest stone. And. Oh, damn. That is, uh, that's definitely the evolved form here of War, I assume. Uh oh what do I do for this thing? So it's going to be grass type. Our best bet would be using roundhouse, but it's grass type, so it's probably got some grass moves. If it starts to lock itself into rollouts, that's going to be bad news. I think here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into Twitter. This was what I should have done last time. We're going to go right into Twitter, and I'm going to try to hit a sing. If I can connect on a sing, we're going to be in a good position. Okay, level 17, forest stone. That thing looks crazy as hell. What? It you look so damn defensive. Okay, do I just... It's going to lock itself into rollout. But if it does lock itself into rollout, it's good. Because then we can switch into freaking roundhouse and we'll be okay. So let's let's just hope that we hit this sink. Please. Please, God. Please, but... Fuck! Of course we miss. Yep, there's the rollout. Well, does a lot of damage to us. Now it's going to start building up. Um, and now our best bet is to just switch into roundhouse. Dude, this... I was not prepared for this. I should have grinded. Uh, I need to, like, look up when the rival battles happen. Because this guy... This guy gives me the hands. Okay, so we are able to take the rollouts nicely with Roundhouse, though. And now we can just go for Revenge. I'm assuming this thing's part rock type or ground type or something. I don't even know. But if we can kill this thing in one hit, that would be that'd be great. Yes, we do! Roundhouse with the huge power, able to knock out the Forest Stone. And Rodney, you ain't killing anything today, buddy. That's right. We go to level 19 off of that. And last but not least is his Moonkey, which I still don't really remember what type that thing is it's a, is it fairy type we're gonna go into we're gonna go into charlotte i think it's the is it the fairy type monkey what the fuck even what are you i don't even remember at all um let's go for a fever and see what happens it's only level 15 we get a critical hit and the burn give you a little crit burn that's right and covet we should be should be okay with that stole my silver powder you asshole i was using that sir you give me that back um let's just go for a bug bite see See how that, how that works? Hey, Bug Bite's super effective, so... Okay, well, Moonkey goes down, and we've defeated Rodney as well. We've just given everybody the hands today. Oh man, you win. Let me heal your Pokemon. Thanks, buddy. So he gives us a nice little heal up, and that is great. So, getting stronger and stronger, Aiden. I almost forgot the professor gave me this for all three of us, and we get a flashlight. Okay, so it looks like we're going into some dark areas here. It's a flashlight with that, so it's essentially just like Flash, the HM for Flash. All the HMs, I guess, just have items for them, so that's kind of cool. But, uh, yeah, so, we got some shit done this episode, and nobody died, so we call that a successful episode. I'm just gonna get a nice little heal up here, and next episode, guys, we're gonna head into the north, and winter is coming. Or, at least, thunderstorms, apparently, so. Yeah, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button on this video if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.